As the Illinois Department of Transportation continues to evaluate options for improving the Eisenhower Expressway, communities along its route are being asked to comment on specific aspects of the project. The focus remains on how roadway height and ramp locations can affect air quality and noise in the nearby neighborhoods. But attention for this discussion will shift to the Austin Boulevard interchange on the village's eastern end. Unlike in the 1950s, when the Eisenhower Expressway was built, today's highway engineers have an abundance of data to help guide design and construction. Data they say are now being used extensively to plan the Eisenhower's future look and function. State studies suggest proposed changes to the highway will not affect air quality in Oak Park. But noise levels, some created by the original design, will need to be addressed and mitigated. In addition to moving the I-290 entrance and exit ramps to the outside lanes, proposed plans would lower the highway as it nears the eastern edge of Oak Park by four and a half feet. Shifting the roadway's footprint 12 feet further south within the current right-of-way is under consideration as well. These steps, officials say, will offer built-in noise reductions. But property owners adjacent to the I-290 will also be given an opportunity to weigh in on whether or not additional noise walls should be installed. Public discussion of noise mitigation could come as early as October 2015. As the Village Board considers the narrow aspects of air quality and noise near the Austin Boulevard interchange within the overall context of the I-290 project, public comment is welcome. A three-dimensional model of the highway design is on display at Village Hall. 